I didn't do it. Okay. Hmm. Okay, look, the fish is really just pretty I'm normal gonna, right now. I gotta get my eyes open here. Do a time I right there. Well, it's still kind of early. Three o'clock? No. What clock? Like 11. Oh, it's 11. Oh, that's really good. It's the same day, isn't it? Huh? Is it today's, the same day? Today's Monday. Yeah. Look at look at fishes. You wouldn't even know. <laughs> I was, can't get my dog got eyes open here. Uh -uh. That fish is just acting pretty normal right now. You wouldn't even know that it was uh -oh. doing all that crazy stuff like. Maybe he made it a friend. Well, I... I and the friend I, didn't like it. <laughs> no, I just think he... I think he's just... I think he's just mastered it. He completely let go. And then he learned how to... play with it, control it. Just... It just I don't know. He just learned, and and now he, you know, he he he'll still do his little sideways things every now and then. But I mean, this morning I'm just watching him, and he's just pretty normal. And to me, <clears throat> it's just proof that you know there's nothing wrong with him. I mean, obviously. We do not so early. It is it late. It's not that early. Hmm. Uh, it's not that early. I was working on my. Uh, I'm working on editing that presentation. Oh boy. I came. Oh, they appreciate. I came down and looked at the tank, and I was just amazed to see that he was just really being very normal this morning. And I had to record some because it's just more evidence of that, you know, there's nothing wrong with him, mm -hmm. you know. tank really is so beautiful, you know? It is. It's so pretty. Hey, Rabbit. Oh, that was not nice. He answered me, John. Mm -hmm. Wasn't that nice? Yeah. Walks in here and greeted him and he stopped to say me meow. Yeah. Meow. Panther hey, rabbit. Panther rabbit. I hear you purring. Okay, watch the camera. See, you know, you were talking about <clears throat> giving Dick uh, some video of the aquarium. And, uh, it would be fun to do that, and 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 just don't don't tell him about the the fish swimming upside down. And would put some of that in there, you know. If he's <laughs> watching, all of a sudden he starts seeing that fish swimming upside down and stuff. Oh my gosh. That'd be funny, wouldn't it? Yeah. We should do that. Because he would, yeah. Because <laughs> he would know this. <laughs> yeah, he'd probably call you up and go, "Mom, what's with this fish <laughs> swimming upside down?" Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> and why is it so clean looking? Yeah. Pretty nice. 
Come on, do your trick. I'm watching him. Oh, there he goes. He just took the bubbles up. He just, he did. He just, he just let go. He is acting completely normal. And now all of a sudden, he just let go and he let the bubbles take him up and he's acting different now. See, that's proof. It's proof. There's nothing wrong with him and he's just choosing to do this. Oh, I don't think about him. There's something wrong with him now. He's been nice like this so long. But I mean, for just showing visual evidence that this fish is, is, uh, is evolving in, in a way that, you know, I mean, he's choosing to do this. It's not like right now he's been swimming really normal today. Just, in a, he just took a moment and went, oh, I feel like letting go and letting the bubbles take me up, you know? I know, that's what it looks like. It's like now he kind of understands how it works, and he... Boy, that water is so clean anymore. But there's something really to this, you know. I think that scientifically there's a lot of people that would be interested to see this fish that is... Um, what is the word they use? Cognitive, making like, you know, ha having cognitive thought. I think that's the word. Mm -hmm. I need to look it up myself, but I... Um, that he's actually conscious. He's making choices. And, uh, <clears throat> no. aware of, like, even my hand, the way he was interacting with me. Yeah. And just, really, it was really kind of another measure of him letting go. Like, like wanting to explore and just completely trust mm -hmm. whatever was going to happen with him coming into my hand. He had, how did he know? But you know what I mean? It's just a strange thing that's going on here that he was actually just actually um, completely Doing fearless in, yeah, in, in, in exploring the concept of letting go. That angel fish is so pretty. Mm -hmm. He just blows in your lung. Yeah. Everything is in easy form. None of them look like they're frustrated or they're having a bad day and not being able to just, just sail over the around there. Yeah, it seems like a pretty, uh, yeah, it seems pretty peaceful in there. Like everybody's really. That's exactly right. It's peaceful in there. That's the thing I get when I look at it too. Mm-hmm. Seems like everybody's getting along. All kind of swimming more together, and <laughs> I wonder if he had some kind of effect on them. You know, because they are acting different. They all are. Even the Pecostomus seems to be more at peace today. He's just kind of lounging. It. Yeah, he's just... And sometimes he can be a bully to other fish, like oh, even that one that was doing all the crazy stuff when he'd spin by him, the Pecostomus would beat up on him sometimes. I was kind of concerned about that. But there really does seem to be a sense of peace. Even the glass fish have been, like, kind of staying together you know, there's a couple more, and, uh, but the, you know, all the other colored ones, too, like, look how they're all up here kind of swimming in a school together now. They used to always kind of stay to their own mm -hmm. area. Like, that purple one, you hardly ever saw him. He was always kind of in the back somewhere. You know, every time I see him, it's like, well, I didn't see you before. You 
Uh -huh. It comes up front. Like right now, the other, the other angel right there, uh -huh. he's there, he's over there now. But when he was right here, and I knew that his buddy was in there somewhere. Mm hmm. It's beautiful. That angel is so pretty, isn't it, John? Oh, yeah. Definitely. But it's just a beautiful tank overall, and there does seem to be a sense of peace. Like, it just seems mm -hmm. like a good day in the aquarium. <laughs> That's what just kind of amazed me is when I came in and looked, I just wanted to see what the crazy fish was doing. Yeah. And he was acting really normal. And that's just... Uh, and the other fish all feel good and they're just floating around. Yeah, it seems like there's an, like an, uh, an evolution that happened over the whole school here. Down to bottom, my gosh, it's so beautiful the way it's covered. Mm hmm. And then that red fish, he's doing his thing. I think, I think it's so nice, like, when Rabbit wakes up. And we're sitting here enjoying the fish, and he becomes part of it. And he's so content, and huh, John? Look at that. Mm-hmm. We're all sitting here, not just or anything, just sitting and enjoying it. Oh, rabbit. It's only 10 o'clock. You know, John, when I woke up, you know, it's dark in here and all that, so nobody. And, uh, and it's 10 o'clock. And it feels so wonderful this early. Trying to get away. <laughs> it could be 5 o'clock right now, wake up, it's 5. It's not like that, I'm done. Right. It's a good day. You got this, you got some sleep, you feel better, and everything... Oh, yeah. Uh, and we know the fish feel the same way. Seems so. They're reflecting us. We're reflecting them. The water is so nice and clear. Yeah, it's pretty nice.